Hey guys, in this video we'll be solving code process round 905 problem C Raspberry. But before starting the video, I have just a small announcement to make as many of you are requesting me for guidance on interviews, how to uh, get your resume uh, reviewed and other guidance regarding learning DSA or anything. So just for you guys, I have given you my Calendly link, just schedule an appointment and best of best part is it's free it's totally free okay so just feel free to have a appointment schedule and we can talk more on that okay now coming back to the question what we are given in the question it is saying that we have numbers or basically we can have an array of n integers and we have a k which can be from 2 to 5 now what we can do in one operation we can do the following we can choose any index and set increase its value by one so we can pick any number and increase its value by one and we have to find minimum number of operations to make the product of all the numbers divisible by k okay so what question is saying that we will have one array so let's say a1 a2 something like that a n now we will have another integer k k can be two three four or five k can be only these numbers now what we need to tell is yeah and there is given that one operation we can change any any value by one so like we p a3 and we can replace a3 by a3 plus one so in one operation what we can do we can increase by any value by one <coughs> now what we need to do is once we'll multiply all these like a1 into a2 till a n this product should be divisible by this k whatever k we are having over here now in some scenarios it may be directly divisible or else we'll have to perform some operation to make this divisible right so we have to tell what will be the minimum number of operations we need to perform so that we can we can have our number or have our in total product divisible by k now so to start we know that if we will divide any number by k uh, sorry in any number by 2 we can have remainder either 0 either 1 Similarly, if we divide any number by 3, we can have remainder either 0, 1 or 2. For 4, it can be 0, 1, 2, 3. And for 5, we can have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. So now, let's say, let's say, if we take the product, okay, if we take the product, and now see, if this question, the k is less so we'll just consider case by case okay so first of all we'll start with 2 then 3 and 4 and 5 and then we'll see the similarity and then we'll finally implement the solution okay so let's say if if for 2 if we are considering k equals to 2 then we know that if out of all this number like a1 to an if any number is even any number is even so like let's say a even in the sense that a mod ai modulo 2 equals equals to 0 then what yeah just before that i will point out one important property of modulo that if any number let's say x is divisible by some k right that is x modulo k is equal equals to 0 that means if you'll multiply any number by k or x sorry then also like let's say y over here or any number then also if we'll take modulo by k this will be equal to 0 because why because this was divisible by k a that means overall this product will be divisible by k okay so that was one thing just let me erase it okay so moving forward moving forward now like k is equal equals to 2 now if there is any even number any even number means if modulo of any number like for any i what we can do is first of all we will store the modulo by 2 okay so if for any modulo if it is if it is 0 that means the entire product will also be taking the product entire product and if that modulo is 0 that product let's say p modulo k equal equal to 0 that means we don't need to perform any operation and we can simply return 0 right else if it is not the case that means at least there was one number which was odd or sorry there was no number which was even that means all the numbers were odd that means we, we if we'll make any ai any ai it is odd okay if it will add plus one then it will become even right so now the product of this entire number 
along with this changed AI, updated AI, and the rest numbers, it will become even, right? Because this is even, that means the entire product will be even, and that will be divisible by 2, right? So if we'll see this, what we can infer that? For any number k, for any number k, what we have to do is, first we'll, we have to check if the product directly divisible by k, that is product modulo k equal equal to 0, else if we have remainder 0, sorry, if we have remainder 0, how can we make it to 0, remainder 0, that means if it is k, or like let's say if k is 3, then if remainder is 1, then I can, you know, whatever the number he, here he was, like let's say it was 4, then what I can do is, I can make 4 to 5, then 5 to 6, so initially remainder was 1, here remainder will be 2, and here remainder will be 3, so if I will just make one number, if I'll just make one number, one number divisible by k, then the entire product will be divisible by k. Okay. Now, so for first of all, what we'll do, <coughs> we will just we already seen that either all the remainders can be either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there, there are the only possible uh, remainders which we can get. Okay. So first of all, what we'll do, we'll run a loop, we will simply run a loop and we'll store the remainders and their count so how we'll run a loop for auto and in nums we have a map of you know let's say map of int comma int map of int comma int mp then we can simply write mp of sorry not this this will be mp of whatever n we have modulo k plus plus now and also what we'll do we'll have one variable product or p equals to one and we can simply multiply p multiply equal equal to n so at the end of this loop what we'll have we'll have the product of all the numbers stored in p and at the same time the frequency of each remainders we can have now let's say if p modulo p modulo k equal equal to zero that means we don't need to perform any operation and we can simply return zero or print zero and we can return it right Okay, the answer will be 0 in this scenario. But if that's not the case, now consider if k equal equals to 2, we already know that if there is any odd number, any odd number, and now for the scenario of 2, we know that the entire the entire product was not even, that is the modulo was not 0, that means there will be at least one, at least one number because n is always greater than or equal to 1, right? So there will be at least one number which is odd. So in this scenario, what will be our answer? Okay, there won't be any if. We can simply return 1 or we can simply see out 1. Okay. Now, let's say for the 2 we have handled because for the 2 we know we there can be only two possibilities, 0 or 1, right? So 0 we already checked, 0 is not the case. So there will be 1. So if there is any number that must be odd or all the numbers must be odd. So if we will just increase any number by 1, if we increase like let's say there was on 17 15 13 because see we already ruled out the possibility that there was no even number that's why this module was not zero so we can simply increase by one by this one or this one like any number if we we'll increase it it will become even then the whole product will be divisible by this two now for this two we already have the conditions now this condition will remain same for every number like whether it's case two three four or five anything if this condition satisfied we can simply return zero right now if 3 is if k is equal equals to 3 and we know that if k is 3 we can have remainder 0 1 2 right if we already ruled out the possibility over here that k is not or the product is not divisible by k that means the remainder cannot be 0 for the case of 3 as well now if now we have only two possibilities either it can be 1 or it can be 2 so if we will see there is one number a of i which has remainder 1 if divided by 3 then what we can do is we can simply increment a of i by 2 right a of i by 2 then if it becomes a of i plus 2 modulo 3 and uh, yeah sorry when we will take this modulo by 3 initially it remainder was 1 and we added 2 then it means it remainder will be 0 or else if we have some value some value where like let's say a of j which remainder is 2 then in this scenario we can simply add plus 1 to this a of j and 
we can have our a of j plus 1 divisible by 3 right i hope this point is clear now so for 3 what we can check is we can simply check if mp of 3 because sorry mp of 2 right if mp of 2 that means we can simply we can simply return 1 or see out 1 right if not then we can have 1 that means if there is no 2 that there is no remainder 2 that means we will have only remainder 1 and if we know that if there is a remainder 1 and to make it divisible by 3 we have to add 2 so we'll have to perform 2 operation so if or even if without if we can simply write else c out 2 okay now similarly if k is equal equals to 4 okay if k equal equals to 4 then we already ruled out sorry so we know that the possibilities will be 0 1 2 3 we already ruled out the possibility that remainder is not 0 now remainder can be 1 2 or 3 if we want to if there was any number a of i who was giving remainder 1 on dividing by 4 that means we'll have to add 3 that means we'll have to do 3 operations to make it divisible by 4 similarly if a y was 2 we can add 2 and make it divisible by 4 and if a i is a i gives remainder 3 not sorry here also it was remainder 2 so similarly if a i gives remainder 3 then we can simply plus do plus 1 that is perform one operation and make it divisible by 4 okay but here is one more catch there is one more catch let's say if <coughs> if i am giving or a of i a of i was giving remainder 1 and there was some another index a of j so what we'll do first of all we'll just uh, go on checking from this way like if a of 3 exists then we know that there will be minimum one operation right then if a of 2 exists that means we'll have to do two operations but let's say if a of i also gives 2 and a of also uh, j also gives 2 and i is not equal to j i is not equal to j that means we can simply multiply both these two but we know that if there, this were the case then we already handled it because here here we have already checked it if it's modulo k equal equal to 0 or not so if there were two numbers which given uh, which would have given uh, you know multi after multiplying which will given 4 because the modulo or remainder will be 2 so that was not the possibility but there is one more possibility that let's say if ai gives remainder 1 and a of j gives remainder 1 okay and i and j not equal to i is not equal to j now we know that if we will make this one to 4 we need 3 steps but if we will make this one 2 and this one also 2 then this will give us remainder uh, this will be divisible by 4 okay listen what i am saying is if we will like earlier the remainder was 1 we added 1 and make it to give remainder 2 similarly there was another number which who was giving remainder 1 we added 1 and make it give remainder 2 and now this remainder 2 and this remainder 2 when multiplied because we can simply write it right something like this right 4m plus 2 multiplied by 4p plus, or something like whatever you 4q multiplied by 2 so if we'll take the remainder right or if you'll multiply it you will do something like let's say m is also over here so it will be something like 4m square whole square plus 2 into 4m into 2 plus 2 whole square so all the numbers will be individually divisible divisible by 4 that means this overall expression will be divisible by 4 or the overall product will be divisible by 4 so in this scenario we just needed two step right so if there were two ones or the count of modulo 1 is greater than 1 uh, that means we can simply uh, make two ones to 2 and in that case we will have only 2 as our answer we don't need to perform 3 steps but let's say if there was only 1 1 that means in this scenario we will have to make this 1 to 4 and we need 3 steps ok so I hope till here everything will be clear now coming to the case of 5 if k equal equals to 5 now we know that k can only be uh, sorry 5 we cannot achieve 5 by multiplying two numbers because it was prime and so are the case for 2 and 3 therefore we didn't uh, check that but for the 4 we know that we can make it by multiplying 2 into 2 
but in the five it's not the case so if it's one we need four step if it's two we need three steps if it's three we need we need one step sorry two step and if it's four we need one step okay so that will be the simply our answer let's go to the solution if we'll see what we did was first of all we created a map to store the frequency of modulo of each number so we took the input multiplied and updated our p and also we are taking modulo so that it doesn't overflow because at the end we have to take the modulo only right so modulo would affect it and now we are taking the modulo and increasing its count similarly if p modulo k equal to equal to zero we can simply return zero else if it's k equals to two as explained there will be only one possibility and see we can simply uh, print one if it's three we can check if it's if two is there like if there is any number which give remainder two then we need one step else we would be needing two step similarly for the four as explained in the video we can check if there is three we need only one step if there is is two and one one then we will have just because we have to make in this scenario this one to two and there was one two already so we'll have one step but if there is only one two then we'll have to use two steps then if the frequency of the modulo of one or the numbers giving modulo one is greater than one then in scenario we saw that we can simply raise them to two and in that scenario we'll have answer two or else if there is only one one then we can simply return three and similar is the case for five i hope this solution will be clear to you let me know in the comment section and also don't forget to schedule appointments of calendly for free okay thank you guys